Hi, I'm Ron with Amazing Mile Marker Stops, and we're in Crescent Beach, AIM 790 on the Atlantic ICW. Giving your heart away Is hoping love will never die But life unfolds in the strangest ways And sometimes you just can't keep love alive but I So I wanted to explain Sometimes you'll see me with my brace on and sometimes you'll see me with my brace off. I'm five weeks out from surgery. Don't know if you can see the scar or not. From complete shoulder replacement surgery and uh, a tendon repair. And so I'm five weeks out from surgery and my doctor told me as long as I do my exercises at least um, once a day, okay? And anytime I'm around people, a group of people, or whenever the boat is underway, he wants me to wear my brace. Otherwise, um, otherwise I don't have to wear the brace. And the reason he wants me to wear it when I'm underway is because if I happen to get if we happen to get waked or something and I start to fall, he does not want me to use my left arm for catching myself. And um, the joint's good, just the muscle has to heal. Just thought I'd explain that to you. I've tried, but I just can't drink you off my mind. Since you left me, things have been so heavy. I just cry, 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 cry. I just cry. Well, good news. The annual migration is seems to be back in force. So we were traveling today down the ICW. We could see seven boats in front of us and five boats behind us. And because of that and what we saw along the way, we thought, well, maybe we shouldn't try to get to our anchorage tonight because it may be full. And so we picked this anchorage. It's a little closer than what we expected. You see there's one trawler behind us and if we go up here, you see there's three more trawlers out in front of us, plus a couple of sailboats. So even this anchorage, which we've never stayed at before, is uh, fairly crowded. And uh, so I think we made a good call not to try to make it to the, the anchorage we're trying to get to. And it looks like, sure enough, looks like we got another trawler pulling in. So I'd say that COVID is on the wane as far as boaters go and they're starting to boat again. And that's a good thing. I'm, I'm glad to see boaters out on the water uh, about a month ago or 
or so. If you remember, we did the uh, trip to Savannah, and between Savannah and Brunswick, we saw three boats the entire time. And uh, that was about a week-long trip. We only, we only saw three boats. So, so this is this is fantastic. I'm glad to see it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are the eighth boat here. And Ron is gonna go hand out, he's gonna go hand out our little bags that we hand out with all kinds of goodies in them. So, if you see us along the waterway um, and you want a bag, just let us know. There's all kinds of goodies in it. You know that I'm a keep it cool With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out With no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge screening out With us it's all or nothing nervous because I'm getting ready to have my doctor's appointment by zoom regarding my shoulder and I'm not really sure how all that works but I guess I'll figure it out and it's supposed to happen in about 15 minutes okay great yeah yeah you it sounds like you already know your stuff in the first two weeks exactly are kind of just moving it for you yeah so you take and kind of put your arm out, is that what you do? Um, well, first I lay down and then it's like doing bench press. Whenever you're down, out in the cold, faithless and die, your story's untold. Come take my hand. Walk there with me I know a place Where we can be free There is a light Shining for you Guiding your way Helping you through And shadows and gloom Are all that you see We'll find a place Where we can be free all right, so the other night we were at an anchorage and there was eight of us in there, eight different boats, and there were two other defevers. We went around and visited all the boats, gave everybody a swag bag like we like to do. That's a lot of fun doing that. Um, but two of the boats reciprocated and they were the defevers. Um, the first one was Salty Turtle with Gigi and Vic on board and they gave us this CD and really great music. We've listened to it couple of times so really enjoy this music and thank you Gigi and Vic from Salty Turtle for that gift and if I hadn't have been doing dishes at that time when the music was about over I would have wanted to dance <laughs> <laughs> but she took longer to do the dishes than the music so we didn't get to, what, well, to dance I was, another I night. was slow <laughs> at getting the dishes done so <laughs> and the other one was Larry and Aaron on Serendipity. Both these were de uh, 44 foot defevers, by the way. And Larry and Aaron on Serendipity uh, gave us this spiced rum. Isn't that cool? A bottle of spiced rum. So. Um, He's not tried it yet. I haven't tried it yet, but to we're going to get this real fancy shot glass that we have on board. And to the crew of Serendipity, this is to you. Thank you. That's good. That's good. All right, we'll see y'all on the water. Okay, so I uh, had my Zoom appointment with my doctor, and I'm good for six weeks till my next appointment. And we're celebrating. 
by running across the waterway to check out this little bait and tackle shop over there. We got a nice little anchorage. All to our lonesomes, and it's pretty much only big enough for one boat, but it's awesome. Beautiful day. Yep, turned out a lot better than they predicted. Mm -hmm. Grab this one right. This one here? I didn't have it. I didn't have enough of it out. <laughs> I did not work. Okay. I got it eventually. Put a pen on my desk Slip the noose around my neck Alright, so we dropped the dinghy down and ran across to Devil's, Devil's Elbow Fish Camp. It's right across from our anchorage there. And they've got a nice little um, tackle shop here with some snacks. We got some refreshments. And BJ was waiting on us. Uh, he was real helpful and gave us a lot of information. So if you come down the river, you want a nice quiet place to stop and anchor, this is the place to go. You can come across here and get you some snacks, resupply your tackle box, and you'll be good to go. And gifts, lots of nice gifts. Oh yeah, they got some cool gifts. She had to buy a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so BJ just filled us in on all the, the lowdown on this area. This is called Devil's Elbow, where we're anchored. And apparently, the, uh, the river came down here and then wound right through our boat. And then around this island, it's to the aft of our boat right now. And, uh, and then came around and came back out. And so it's kind of formed an elbow there and apparently it was really hard to navigate. And so when they started digging the ICW, they cut straight across and came out where the, the river would meet down there. And so they, they cut out the elbow and just did a straight line coming this way. But so that was pretty cool to learn about. If you'd like to help us make more of these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel it's free to you, but helps us more than you know. And don't forget to check out the nation's largest free online travel guide for boaters, AmazingMileMarkerStops.com. If you would like to put a little fuel in our tank, you can support us on Patreon. And remember, don't just cruise. Visit Amazing Mile Marker Stops. from the VHF radio. Uh, sunshine. Um. Uh,